Hey guys. Hey guys. We have come to Big Bend Ranch State Park. It was only about a 40 minute drive from uh, Big Bend National Park where we were last week. And uh, we were able to score a very secluded spot at Lower Madera Campground. Yeah, it's right next to Upper Madera Campground, which is probably the favorite of the two, uh, but there were no spots there. Yeah, there's only four campsites available up there. Uh, we'll show it up to you later. Uh, Lower Madera has, I think it's 11 or 15, 15. 15 sites down here. We're in site number 10, which was long enough to accommodate us, but many of the other sites here... We're not long We're enough. not. They're really <laughs> just tent sites. So just ask at the visitor center when you come to check in um, what, how many people are here, what might be available for you. Speaking of the visitor center, Barton Warnock Visitor Center, we were able to dump and get water. Yeah, their water spigot is on the building. Um, Non-potable water is over by the dump station. And the, the rangers there were very helpful. They had maps. And there's two great hikes we're gonna check out today. Most of the state park is just accessible kind of from the northern side on more rough roads and, and we're not gonna be going up there. We're just kind of along the river side. It should be a fun stay. It's, it's a dark sky area, so we should get some great stars out here. Yeah. And uh, we're excited to explore it. It's quiet. There's only one other group camping here. And uh, so we're thankful for that as well. Yeah, it's great to, there's so many really secluded spots in uh, West Texas. <laughs> yeah. So this ramp is part of our campground and um, this is the Rio Grande. The other side of the river is Mexico. <laughs> According to this sign, you'll get a up to $5,000 fine for crossing other than an official point of entry. You can throw a rock into Literally Mexico. throw a rock across there. It's deeper than I thought. Oh, you did! <laughs> Good job. Just barely. <laughs> so, some of the grades on this road are 15%. You can't tell by the video, I'm no, sure. No, I'm sure you cannot, but it, this is quite steep. Oh, there's... People hiked up there. Oh, this is right there, 15%. Wow! <laughs> All right, we have come to the Closed Canyon Trail. It was just about eight miles from our campsite, and uh, it's a 1.8 out and back. Yep, very short, but it's supposed to be very scenic. So the trail switched back for a while and now we've just been in this riverbed wash, very sandy. Heading uh, right toward the canyon. Right to the canyon. Yeah. Sun, so we got this nice tree grown right here. Made it to the end of the trail, the official end. It's we could certainly make it further, but uh, I guess uh, they don't want us to school. It's prohibited. It gets uh, a little bit rough. Might be challenging to come back up. Yeah, I think. Could be hard so so that's that i was telling brad that i thought this um was kind of like the narrows in zion just minus the water 
So that's kind of fun. It is, of course, also uh, the canyon walls aren't quite as high, but. Oh, this is really fun, right? Yes, I love this. This is really fun. All right, finished with Closed Canyon. On to, what is it? Big Bend Hoodoo, Hoodoo Trail. trail. Hoodoo's Trail. <laughs> Hoodoo's Trail, yeah. Big Bend Hoodoo's Trail. That's a short one. That's like 1.1 miles. Yeah. That was a great trail. <sighs> Excited to see what this one has to offer. of the main hill and, and far from the hoodoos and uh, this maybe not that interesting so if you're happy with what you saw just at the river and the hoodoos I would say you can kind of retrace your steps there but if you're looking for a little more exercise uh, then that's about all you'll get out of the rest of the loop yeah then you can do the full loop yeah there's a nice view out here So there's absolutely no cell service at all. I actually tried all of our old SIM cards and picked up no signal. You even tried the tell cell. I tried our tell cell to see if we could pick up a signal from Mexico and nothing. Um, so because of that, we had to stay. Um, we could only stay for the weekend. We stayed for just two nights, but it was so worth it. It's really close to Big Bend and um, we've already seen so many stars. Mm -hmm. 